we are officially 24 hours away from Tides of Terror's release. With that being said, I thought it would be a good thing to go over some of the features that are confirmed for Tides of Terror. I am going to be putting some random gameplay over this, so I do apologise if I don't have any camos. Unfortunately, because of where I was ill recently, I was unable to grind for any of these. So we know that when Tides of Terror launches, we will be getting a new perk with five different tiers that we're going to be upgrading. We currently believe that this perk is going to be able to allow us to carry three weapons. Essentially meaning that this perk is going to act like Mule Kick. In a way, I'm all for this because it would be nice to have three weapons. The only thing I'm a little bit worried about is how many special weapons we're now going to be able to carry as I think this is going to make us too overpowered. And I would have liked to have seen a double damage output perk, but I don't think that that's ever going to happen. But I'm still extremely happy for this. What do you guys think? I know that there's a lot of mixed opinions on Mule Kick, so let me know. Another new feature that is coming to Tides of Terror and Scar Ritual is that we are going to be getting a new weapon. This weapon is coming in the form of a new death machine type weapon called the Maelstrom. This weapon's name will change when it gets past tier 3 of supercharging. It's going to be interesting to see how this works because it does have like harpoons on it or these arrow type things. So it's going to be interesting to see how this fires and what projectile we're going to be firing. Hopefully this isn't just going to have like a basic quest where we just kill five hags or something like that and then it gives us it and hopefully it'll be something that we have to either get out of lucky or maybe we have to do something a little bit more convoluted to get other than that even if it is just out of a strange box this weapon looks so cool and usually it's a power up so the fact that this is going to be an actual weapon and i always like it when they add new weapons because it means that there's going to be more to grind for especially now that it has camos in the game there's going to be the chance now to upgrade this weapon and then unlock additional camos for it and if you know my channel i love progression and i think that the way that they've done this works so well the only thing that i find really weird is that other people can contribute to your weapons xp along with tides of terror we know we're also going to be getting the map we don't have any sort of significant teasers of this or what it's going to look like except from we do have this still where we can see that thomas is in front of a fire and that you know we can see these boats in the background and this could be an area of where maybe we spawn in what we do also get to see is that there is going to be a new enemy type i thought we were going to get sirens but we got this other sort of like bog creature and it's going to be interesting to see how this ai is going to play out what its attack patterns are going to be but in the lightning you can see that it shows as like a shadow and then you can see this creature's arms i'm all for different new enemy types i think that that just changes up the game's pace and makes it even better it's going to be interesting to see where the story goes with this as of right now scur ritual's future is unknown tides of terror is the end or marks the end of the roadmap i mean other than november which is going to be going over some of the stuff that will be like bug fixes the actual roadmap itself has come to an end and a lot of people have asked will we be getting a part two of the roadmap while it hasn't been confirmed as of yet it is yet to be seen and i don't really know if scare ritual will get a second part although i don't know where they're going to go with the story as well because one of the issues that we have is where could the story go now these two maps have acted as like a prequel to the main story at the end of the super easter egg we get to see these lambs that come running out of the castle and then they just go up into the night sky and they're all these demon lambs and we haven't really found out what the significance of that yet is so maybe we're going to get a sequel to deadly lovers fortress or maybe go rituals complete and that's the end maybe wells interactive don't plan to make another scare ritual game or they don't plan to update scare ritual as it is and maybe they're just going to make scare ritual 2 now i personally would like them to continue to just update this game but if they want to make a second game and make it even better maybe improve on some of the systems and make those systems have more depth that would also be pretty cool. Maybe Scare Ritual's next game will have their own original models instead of using some of the assets from the Unity store. It's yet to be seen. It'll be very interesting. So what do you guys want? Tell me down in the comments down below. But anyways, guys, are you excited for Tide to Terror? I'm going to be streaming it tomorrow. I just wanted to go over some of the things that have been confirmed. And I thought, you know, why not? It would be really cool to recap. Some of the things I would like to see is a music Easter egg that's going to have a unique song and a unique quest that's a little bit different as well we don't want to keep using the audio symbols i don't know maybe that will probably come back that seems to be a trend we also might get an alternative boss fight like we did in house of the damned when you have the music active and some of the other things we would like to see is either an unguided easter egg from the beginning which i don't think is going to happen but if it does that would be amazing and then maybe they could add the guided one in 
in a week's time. That would be really cool because it gets the community speaking. Anyways, guys, I'm Mr. 7. You've been absolutely awesome. I will be going live tomorrow with Tides of Terror. So if you guys want to see more videos like this and you want to see some energy in the streams, then please make sure to come say hello. I am trying to cover as much Scare Ritual as I can, as well as Black Ops 6 when it comes out. But hey, I know I've been slowing down lately with Scare Ritual, but trust me, I still like this game. I still want to play it. I don't play Scare Ritual as much as I once did. But I do want to get back into the swing of doing that. I felt like some of the things that we had found felt a bit buggy. I went over that. I spoke about it. And I think that my conversation with the Scare Ritual community kind of blew up recently when I did my controversial, honest opinion. But I need to get back to making content and show that, you know, I've only ever wanted the best for the game, which is true. Anyways, guys, I'm Insurance7. You've been absolutely awesome. And I shall see you guys in my next video.